The anatomy is always more challenging than you think it might be, that even, um, at one point, uh, in the, even in a maxillary <coughs> sinus, that the posterior lamella, you can sometimes get lost, even though you think you're there. So that was uh, surprising. Let's right. turn it back on. Hey, oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, time out. So let's get that. See the pinpoint? Let's spin it for me. So there's your pinpoint light. Well, yeah, there you go. Sorry. There it is. Okay, there you go. Nice. Perfect. So what, what are you feeling? So there's no way I can get that in there without manipulating mm -hmm. the unseen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. And then this way. Oh. oh. So, so go pull your scope back, Jeff. So did you see the false opening down yeah. there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the true opening. So you just, you, I heard that pop in. This one right now. Yeah. yeah. That. So I'm passing the balloon all the way. I don't see it. Okay. So it's got to be at the tip right there. I mean, I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to force it, but I'm pushing well, up where so I really don't want to do that. So, yeah. so that you can clearly see that's just torn. Yeah. So that was the first rotation. They did the max theories as well. How do your patients tolerate the difference in the balloons? The difference between the clarent balloon and the difference yeah. between the I, I like the clarent better for that. Say like again. right now, I like the clarent better for that okay. because sometimes I feel like I don't have to go that close to where I need to be yeah. and let the wire do the work okay. as opposed to having to go with a rigid instrument okay. yeah. all the way to where I need to be. Perfect. You got the, all the balloon in there. Was this a fairly easy one for people to cannulate the maxillary sinus? The first rotation, it wasn't. Then we went in with the Intellis device, and uh, there was a false passage that was created. By advancing the wire and looking at the very fine firefly kind of spinning technique and the longer length of the wire on the clarent, I have greater confirmation that I am actually in the sinus, both maxillary and frontal. It's comparing the reach of the two devices, uh, certainly the Eclarent has potentially and realistically a longer reach to it. Uh, the guide wire, of course, is much longer, but with that you can advance the balloon to a greater degree, which is strictly limited on the Intellis device. So was there a difference in accessing with the uh, maxillaries? Oh, uh, I, if anything, if you want to sell a Eclarent over Intellis, to me the maxillary is the big, big the big difference? Yeah. You have much more flexibility with the wire guided uh, technology. You're stuck with a pre bent um, rigid instrument on the one hand versus one that allows you to seek the natural osteum as opposed to creating one.